Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Ladies and gentlemen, of course, you know who it is, Dr. Mike in the building. Uh, right now we're in the theater arts class. That's why you see a stage, bam, behind me. Kids be practicing for their plays and stuff. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go try to find me a nice place to sit down so that we can talk about today's topic. And this topic, I'm not gonna lie to you, gotta get the lighting right, can I get it here? All right, we're gonna chill for a minute. I'm sitting in my grandfather chair, <laughs> and we're going to have a conversation, ladies and gentlemen, because we have really got to talk about some things. And, you know, there are a lot of things that scare the hell out of me about the Philippines, okay? There are quite a few things. I'm going to bring it a little closer. Let me see if I can get it right. There are quite a few things that scare the hell out of me when it comes to the Philippines. And one of those things is the foreigner mentality that you can buy your way out of just about anything and everything in the Philippines. Basically, I'm trying to tell you that everything in the Philippines has a price. Bad eye, money, whatever you want to call it. Everything has a price in the Philippines. Now, on quite a few occasions, I've discussed guys coming to the country and leading with their wallets and, you know, just spending money and money on females and, uh, you know, doing X, Y, Z to try to get a girl and that being the wrong mentality to have in the country. We've talked about that. But in reference to being able to buy your way out of just about anything, not everything, but just about anything in the country, it scares the hell out of me. And the reason that it scares me the most is because if a foreigner has that particular mentality, they're going to find themselves in some bad situations. Very, very bad situations. All right. Now, on quite a few occasions, we, we've heard about guys who go to the country and do some really bad stuff. OK. And um, on the lighter end of that, we're talking about drugs and, you know, you know, smuggling and stuff like that. On the more effed up pedophilic side, you know, I don't need to go into detail about that. But a lot of you guys think that, oh, I can do it and I can just be able to pay my way out of it. And the scary part is, for most of that stuff, most of it, they can. They can just pay their way out of it. Now, me, I'm a low-key kind of guy, man. I lived there for a long-ass time. I'm low-key as hell. I don't really get myself into trouble. I don't put myself in situations that will put me in danger or the ones that I love in danger. I just don't do that. I'm very smart. I, I am very particular and meticulous about the places that I hang out, the people that I hang with, and things of that nature, just because if I hang out with the wrong crowd, I know that I could potentially be putting myself in danger, and of course the ones that I love. So I don't really hang out with a lot of people, period. But I have been in situations wherein I've kind of used my money to get out of it, okay? I'm not going to lie. I've been in situations like that too, but my situations are very low-key, such as, you know... There was one time I was speeding in the car that I was driving in the Philippines, you know, in Davao City. And, and here's what's real. In Davao City, they have speed limits and they kind of regulate those speed limits. Now, I'm not sure if that's really all over the country. Like I visited some friends in Cebu one time and my man was driving 60 miles an hour in his beautiful BMW, mind, mind you. And, he, and nobody said anything. I'm like, man, this dude's killing it in and out of traffic. So, and, but, in, but in Davao City where I lived, you know, I got caught speed and I was over the speed limit. And, and, you know, actually, yeah, I did. I paid my way out of that one. And then also I did an illegal U-turn one time. And, you know, I really didn't want to get my license taken because the price that I gave them was going to be cheaper than the amount that I would have to pay the LTO. Now, again, I'm not going to mention names because, hey, man, I'm not here to get nobody in trouble, and that is super effing illegal in the Philippines. But I say that to say this. You can buy your way out of just about everything in the Philippines. Now, if you get caught up doing some really, really bad stuff that 
here's the thing. I think that the only situations that you can never, ever, ever buy your way out of are situations that prove to be detrimental to the people of the country, a.k.a. Filipino people. If you do something to negative, negatively affect the country and its people, those are the situations that you will probably never be able to buy your way out of. And you know what's going to happen then? They're probably going to bury your ass underneath the jail. Forget putting you in jail. Forget giving you a chance to leave the country. Depending on who you're dealing with, you may never be seen again. Remember who we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. This is a third world country. These people could give two shiznits about us. If you do something bad to them, oh, they're going to be more than willing to do something bad to you. And who's going to come looking for you? Tell me. Huh? Mommy and daddy? Tell me. Girlfriend? Uh, your family back in the United States, if they don't hear from you from a while, they don't know where you at, they don't know who to look for, or they don't know who to talk to in case you disappear. Come on, fam. You got to get your mind right. So I say that to say this, guys. You got to be careful how you act, how you maneuver, and how you get around the Philippines. Because if you think that you can come to the country and get away with doing some negative, negative shit in the country, oh, because... It's it because, oh, it's the Philippines, man. It's just a third world country, man. It's not the United States. So I could do X, Y, Z and I'll be all right. I could probably pay my way out of it. Come there with that mentality and see how effed up you get. <laughs> I pray. I pray you come there thinking that you could buy your way out of everything. Buy your way out of some super negative stuff. Like I said, I've done some eh, speeding. Whatever. All right. That's just a, that's nothing. You know, they, they, they kind of sort of just said, you know. Sir, give me X, Y, Z, and we'll call it even. I would bargain with them and say, I'll give you this because this is all I got. And they'll take it. Or I remember one time, I didn't even buy anything. I just bought, I bought the guy a case, not even a case of beer, like two red horses, like two of the tall Litro red horses. And that was it. That was what got me out of it. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that you can't. I'm just saying be careful with what you choose to believe you're going to be able to get away with in the Philippines because you have just a little bit more money than everybody else in the country. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I, I've been made aware of some really negative shit. And, I, and, and when I hear about it, I'm like, yo, when you come to the country, you got to be a respectful dude. Remember, this is not our country. I say this in a thousand effing videos, man. I lived there for 10 years. That is not my country. I am not a citizen of that country. I do not have dual citizenship. I am not part Filipino. I am only a black American man living in the Philippines. I had a fantastic time in the Philippines. And because I had such a wonderful experience in the Philippines, that's why I encourage a lot of people to visit the country. But if you visit the country with malicious intent or you visit the country having this mindset like, oh, I could do X, Y, Z and ain't shit going to happen to me, I dare you. I dare you try that shit and see what's popping. I dare you. You want to know why? Because you're going to find yourself in a situation that neither me nor you or anybody in the country going to help you out of. You think somebody going to come to the country looking for your ass? Good luck. Good luck. It hurts my feelings that I have to put out a video like this because... You know, I encourage, like I said, I encourage travel to the country, but when you guys start doing some negative stuff or you start getting yourself involved in illegal activities and stuff, things that are not tolerated in the country, it's like, what can I do for you and what kind of respect can I have for you as a person? I have no respect for people who come to the country and do some illegal shit. I just don't. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I mean, I get it. You know, you kind of want to come there because you know there are certain things in the U.S. that you can't get away with and you feel like you can do it in the Philippines. But why? If what you're trying to get away with is going to prove to be detrimental to the people, why would you even waste your time? You're going to do more harm than good. And they are really getting rid of the undesirables in the Philippines. And don't be one of those undesirable people. Please don't. And I'm saying that from a sincere heart. I have nothing but love for all my foreigners. I have nothing but love for the Philippines. Philippines treated me good. Philippines treated me like their adopted son. I'm straight. Everybody talk. I mean, I hear people talking shit like, yeah, maybe Mike don't know the Philippines like X, Y, Z. Or maybe, you know, they think that the, the knowledge that I'm putting out is BS. They think that I'm crazy. They think I don't know what's going on. Maybe because I look a little young. Maybe because, you know, I don't know what reason people believe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But <laughs> there's levels to this shit, man. 
There's levels to this shit. <laughs> I said I did this every day for 10 years. Consistently. Do you honestly believe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about? Do you honestly believe that? Honestly. I mean, if you do, to each his own, man. You don't have to watch the channel. That's cool. But I'm trying to warn you guys in advance before you go there. Be careful about how you choose to navigate and how you choose to maneuver. Be careful who you choose to maneuver with. There are many situations that I've heard of about guys getting involved with girls that may claim to be of age and they are not. Things like that do happen. That's why I say, you know, maybe it wasn't your intention to get caught up in this negative activity, but because of the people you chose to hang with and trust, you found yourself in a situation. So, again, it's not necessarily something you may come into the country trying to do or trying to get away with, but you may find yourself in that situation because of the people you choose to associate yourself with. I'm very low-key. I told you, man, I had nobody when I was in the Philippines. I had what? My older brother until he moved. I had my father until he went back to work. And then by that time, I was I was navigating the country by myself for a fair amount of time. You know, I had the I had the know-how and I had the knowledge, but, you know, I knew if I didn't feel safe, I just avoided the shit. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm not going to go there because I don't know these people. You got to be the same way, too. It, like I said, even if you don't have the intention... Of doing something bad. Don't let people drag you into doing something bad. You know, I'm not going to call it peer pressure. It's more so accidental. Like maybe you're just hanging out and you're having a good time. You know, X, Y, Z occurs. And then this happens as a result. You know, I, I just want you guys to always be on your P's and Q's in the country. Never believe that you can pay your way out of everything. Okay? Always believe that your money is good in the Philippines, but never believe that you can pay your way out of everything. And that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dr. Mike is sitting in his doctor chair. <laughs> I like this chair. I can't get it. Yeah, it's like one of those, like, psych... What do you call them? Psychologists? You know how you sit in the psychologist chair, and then you have your... Uh, your your uh, patient sitting there laying on that long stool. I don't have the stool. But yeah, guys, we're just in a classroom. So I'm sitting here by myself, chilling. Just wanted to drop this quick video. As always, I at least knuckle. I am leaving at this particular moment. Um, it's been fun. If you guys are not familiar, Dr. Mike is on IG, Dr. Mike from the PH. You'll find it somewhere in and around here. Of course, if you guys haven't already purchased the eBooks, the trilogy, you already know what's out. Um, Dr. Mike's, uh, I mean, sorry, Mike the P.I.'s quick guy for first timers to the country. Hell of a good read. Don't sleep on that book if this is your first time to the country. I promise you, you will enjoy it. Of course, we have Mike the P.I.'s quick guy for empowering black men to travel more. Just want my guys to see more of the world. And of course, we have Mike the P.I.'s quick guy on why all men should travel more. It's the all-inclusive book that will allow everybody to understand why traveling is so important. And even if you can't do it with the money that you have, I provide you information on what you can do to get abroad without having to relatively spend a lot of money. You know what? Let them pay for you to go abroad. That's how you got to think. The mentality is there. Let them pay for you to get there. Let them pay for you to stay there. All right? Remember that. And as always, that's my time. I love you guys. Mahokita. Mubuhai. Deuces.